Why, hello there. Ooh, sorry. Didn't mean to startle you. Or uh, sneak into your bubble. It's just crowded here. No, not always. Sometimes you get a full foot and a half of breathing room. I'm guessing by the question you're not a regular. Wait, shit. I should have said I know you're new because I would have remembered seeing a face like that before. That one's on me. Mind if I try again? I want to make a good first impression. Oh, really? Well, mission accomplished then. Pop the champagne. For the record, you're making a real good first impression too. Well, you didn't scream and throw your drink at me when I surprised you, which is a step up from some of my worst first meetings. You'd think I'd learn, but apparently all it takes is a pretty face and a lapse in judgment before I'm freaking people out with my appearing act. Poof! Here's a stranger directly behind you. Please remain calm. Right, I mean, it's not like I enjoy scaring people or anything. What would I even get out of that, aside from the occasional having to go home and change? So, are you new to the area, or just McCutty's? We get a lot of travelers in here since it's close to something like five or six hotels. <laughs> oh, so that's how it is. Well, if I had to guess, I'd say you're local. Oh, it's elementary, my dear. If you analyze the makeup of the dirt on your boots, you'll find it's clearly indigenous to the area of... <laughs> I'm kidding. It's because you're drinking a mocktail. That means you're somebody's designated driver, right? Ergo, you're here for a friend. Which is quite the shame. Oh, really? Then why are you drinking a virgin? Touché! I'll probably have a drink later, but for right now, I'm just people watching. Can't say I run into a lot of similarly minded individuals. Alright, fine. I can't say I sneak up on a lot of similarly minded individuals. Better? My lifestyle makes it difficult to meet people during the day, and most of the popular hangouts past dusk are bars and clubs. I'm not saying I'm not here for the drinks, but I'd rather someone chat me up than buy me a drink, you know? You smell amazing, by the way. I can't tell if it's what you're drinking or the scent you're wearing, but whatever it is, it's very sweet. Hmm, probably the drink then. What's it called? A cosmic cupcake. I can see where it got the name. Your whole mouth's gone blue, you know. Kinda makes the leather jacket a little less intimidating. I didn't say I didn't like it. It's a very cool jacket. And you look very cool with your blue raspberry tongue. <laughs> yes, I am also incredibly cool. Glad we established that. Hey, you want to get out of here, Cupcake? 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 Finally, I was starting to think you'd never wake up. Well, rise and shine. Good morning and all that bullshit. I mean, technically it's late afternoon, but it's still insanely early for me to be awake. Makes me wish I could drink coffee. Though, come to think of it, I think you'd make a much better breakfast. By the way, you probably shouldn't try to... Stand up. All good down there? Nothing broken? Good. You've been asleep for almost a whole day, Cupcake. You're not going to be standing up anytime soon and forget running. So if I help you back onto the bed, try not to fall off it again. Alright? Alright, up you go. You're lucky you didn't land on your face, you know. Could have broken your nose. And I am not up to dealing with that this early in the evening. Oh, stop glaring. It's taking energy you clearly don't have. Here, I got you a muffin while I was out earlier. You can interrogate me all you want after you eat. Deal? Of course it's to get your blood sugar up. You can't really say no, though, can you? Allow me to rephrase. You're in my home, in my bed. The only place with fewer options for you would be if I dragged you into my coffin. And trust me, the other reason I didn't go that route was because I don't want crumbs where I sleep. You don't have anywhere to run, and at the moment, you literally can't. So eat the motherfucking muffin, 
or I'm going to make you. There, was that so hard? Honestly, it's like pulling teeth with you. Charming. Anyway, you were thrilled for fuck knows how long, so it makes sense that you're disoriented. Just tell me where your memories break off, and I'll fill you in from there. Yes, Cupcake. Thralled. Keep up, please. Well, I'm not getting into details, but you got picked up by an auction house. One that caters to more bloodthirsty clientele. You're lucky I scooped you up, or else you'd be dead by now. Of course, you'll be dead later, too. You're mortal. By definition, you're guaranteed to die at some point. But if you meant later tonight, well, that's up to you. See, I saw you on display and thought to myself, well, Cupcake was oh so honorable about settling up last time. I wouldn't mind being owed again. But this is the second time I've saved your tasty ass. If I don't raise my prices, you're going to get too reliant on me. I'm going to have to find some way of deterring you from situations where you might get killed by someone else. I thought I already told you. I don't like sharing. So, three meals on you. When I want, where I want. You're complaining, is that fair? Didn't think so, but you're still going to do it, right? <laughs> That's what I like to hear. I took the liberty of putting my number in your phone, so I'll text you when I want to cash it in. Next few times, I mean. Obviously, tonight's round one. Finish eating cupcake. I'm not a patient vampire. <laughs> ah, I miss this. You were so boring with your brain scooped out. Though, I will admit, you at least looked nice. Like you were already half-drained. <gasps> I'm offended you would even ask. Of course I took pictures. You want to see? <laughs> all right, all right, fine, Puritan. Ooh, fuck. Look at that blush. I just want to bite your cheeks. I don't have to listen to any of your demands, Cupcake. Those pictures are staying right where they are. If it makes you feel any better, I promise not to let any of the other vampires drool over them. You're really savoring that muffin. Taking your dear sweet time. Oh no, it's fine. But the longer you take doing that, the longer I'm going to take when it's my turn. Christ, Cupcake, don't inhale it. You're going to choke. <laughs> I don't know how you always manage to find a way to surprise me. You'd think I'd be used to this shit by now, but no. You're still as unpredictably stupid as ever. It's endearing. It's also going to get you killed. But in the short term, it seems to be working out. Alright, lift your knee. I'm thinking femoral artery this time. It hurts less than the neck, and it's easier to hide. Also, I don't need to justify myself to you. Remember the whole no complaining part? You do have a point. I do like hearing you complain. Fine. Restriction lifted. Now lift your leg. Much better. Just settle it across here. Is that comfortable? Not too much of a stretch? Good. Very good. Mm. Breakfast in bed has never smelled better. Deep breath, Cupcake. Breathe out slowly. Ow, hey, ow! Hair pulling, really? Cupcake, are you trying to make me tear out a chunk of your leg? Holy shit, you didn't even realize you were doing it, did you? Just grab the sheets, Hunter, or here, I've got a free hand, all yours. Now let me finish eating so you don't bleed all over my sheets. As much as a fun souvenir that would be. <sighs> now that is a way to start the night. Hunter, 
Hunter! Cupcake! There you go, back with us. I need you to let go of my hand. I have to get you something to drink. <laughs> yes, yes, and some cookies too. Congratulations, you finally got them out of me. Was this your plan all along? Play wounded bird in front of me till I give you baked goods? <laughs> Alright, do us both a favor and don't try to stand, okay? All you'll do is open the bite back up and bleed out on my floor. I'll be five minutes at most. Oh, and one last thing. <laughs> oh, come on. You knew it was coming. All right, I'm really going now. Stay. Good, Hunter. Part six. Yay. Uh, this is the last part I have pre-recorded, so... From here on out, they're all going to be ones that I did not record in... I think these were recorded in, like, April? I can look. When did I record these? Um, I have to scroll down quite a bit. Uh, because my organization is terrible. No, these were all recorded in June. So, I don't know why I thought it was April. But still, like... Yeah, so those have been pre-recorded for a while, and now I have to start recording new ones, which, fair enough. Um, thumbnail probably looks a bit different because I broke my phone, and all of the files for my thumbnails were on my phone, so now I have to save up to get that repaired. Nice job, me. I dropped it in my cat's water bowl, like an idiot. So, yeah, that one's on me. Uh, as per usual, thank you to the patrons! Um, Stone underscore five, phase one foam YT, Charles Charles, and I'm gonna go with that's pronounced RX. Let me know if I pronounced your name wrong. Um, but yeah, as per usual, thank you to you guys. You're the best. Um, also, 4,000 subscribers! Wow! Oh my god! I made a community post about it, but holy crap! There is, like, a lot of you. Wow! Okay! Hi. Thank you? <laughs> I just kind of forgot what words were for a minute. Anyway, as for usual, thank you all for watching this. Um, I will be back next week. I love you. Bye-bye.